what the government has done with that act is um, is has the ability now. They've given themselves the ability to impose uh, changes to the um, Public Service Labor Relations Act and basically uh, interfere with our collective bargaining process. Yeah. Well, since the uh, <clears throat> since this came out yesterday, um, there's been a number of uh, responses already. Uh, the PSAC president, Robin Benson, uh, issued a statement uh, immediately and uh, convened a meeting of the National Board of Directors, uh, which took place this morning. And uh, so we had a good long discussion with uh, the component presidents of the PSAC as well as uh, all the members of the Alliance Executive Committee. So the plan now <clears throat> is um, the bargaining teams were scheduled to come in next week uh, to meet um, with the employer. We're going to be meeting with them on Monday uh, in an all teams uh, session. Uh, the teams are going to be uh, looking at this and deciding what their next course of action is going to be um, with the support of the uh, of the National Board of Directors uh, and the AEC. Well the teams have uh, autonomy over collective bargaining. The teams were elected by the membership. Uh, they are supported by uh, the leadership of the PSAC but it's it should be very clear that the uh, the teams have been elected and they have the responsibility for uh, carrying out the wishes uh, of the members uh, that elected them. And well, people, <clears throat> I think, are justifiably upset with what's happened. Uh, they listen, uh, they, they're reading this uh, in almost disbelief that the government's actually taking steps to, um, to gut uh, collective, bar uh, collective agreements. Um, it's a pretty extreme step for any government uh, to do. Uh, but they've done it, and so people are justifiably upset and they want to see something done. I think in addition to what we've already been doing, uh, being visible um, in the workplace, uh, having conversations in the workplace, I think this is now a time where people really need to uh, take the next step, uh, meet with their MPs, uh, write some letters to the editor, start expressing their anger uh, as to what's, uh, what, how they're being treated and um, not only how they as, uh, as employees of the federal government are being treated, but how the country is being treated. There's the, the government is showing a total disregard um, for process, uh, total disregard for our rights under the Charter. Um, so I, I think we, the time has come now for people to, to turn that, act, that anger into action. What we need to do is keep the uh, the eye on our main objective, which is to uh, to change this government on October the 19th. Well, we have to we have to do the things that we've been doing, and to do them really effectively. To be uh, to be quite frank, we have to make sure that we're talking to our uh, to our members, uh, both in and out of the workplace. We're talking to our friends. We're talking to our neighbors, uh, making sure that if we can get out and talk to uh, to our representatives of government. Uh, attend rallies wherever you can, write letters to the editor, uh, show your voice, express your voice.